Um, we are working on step um, three, which is the rubric. Um, I have to ask a friend to come and check my um, my story, and she has to put what she liked about the narration and if any questions like what she didn't understand about it and then advice so she needs to give me advice like um, put more put more dialogue or yeah something like that writer's workshop is the writing process it teaches kids how to write in a structured way in a repetitive way but it also gives them a chance to choose their own theme and in that way develop a, a lifelong will to write. It's a process that includes planning and then writing the rough draft and then revising. You can revise by themselves with a teacher, with peers, and then they finally write their final draft and then they're able to share and um, you just cycle. Their kids never stop writing, they always have something to do. What I'm basically doing is I'm just I'm just, um, like, I just make up a story and I'm writing it down on a paper that has where I put pictures and where I write. I believe Writer's Workshop fosters an enjoyment of writing because the students get to pick their own topics, they get to express themselves, it's authentic writing. They know they're writing for a purpose, whether it be to share with their friends at the end of the, the session or to take it home and share with their parents and they just see a purpose in it and it's their choice. They don't get many choices all the time and this is the one time when it, they get to express themselves and, and show what they can do. I try to do writer's workshop three times a week and every writer's workshop I try to do a 15 minute mini lesson. I choose the mini lesson according to what the students need. It's completely student driven. If I see when I'm editing that they need um, dialogue, I will focus on the lesson on dialogue or if it's a beginning, I'll focus on a, a beginning. So how I want to start today, I want to start today with a mini lesson. And what I've been noticing when I'm editing with you is that our beginnings are great. We have strong beginnings, we're introducing our characters, we're introducing our settings. So I want to show you a different way to begin an editing, um, an, a beginning with dialogue. And we have used dialogue, but um, I want to show you how to use um, dialogue between two people. And I think that might help you to improve your writing. On the aspect test, that's, that's a question. They give you the middle and they want you to write a beginning. So a lot of times for my mini lesson, I'll practice that. I'll take a student's story, cut off the beginning, and the other students have to write a beginning and make it apl applicable. So there's, you can, a teacher can look at any standard and just make it into a mini lesson. Okay, I need to add setting. because she liked getting that rope. Okay. And um, you should put why she didn't do it in one. And then I changed that and I put um, because it was a new school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to, you put the beginning introduces a character. Which is Amber. Mm -hmm. Students need to have the freedom to talk during writer's workshop. They need to be able to collaborate and build on each other's ideas. I explain to them what is correct talk and what is incorrect talk. And um, I'll, I'll stop with my editing and I'll walk around, monitor, listen to, to make sure that the talk is correct. And I could see from across the room if it's appropriate talk or not. What were cold and juicy here? The fruit and the Right. So they, and you'll, you're going to say they are instead of there. They are cold and juicy. Very nice, you did see? Past tense verbs, getting better. Very good. Next time you write, I'm going to make a list for you of lists just to be, verbs to be careful of. Right. So on your past tense verbs, Writer's Workshop helps to differentiate instruction, especially when I'm teaching ELD learners because I teach to the highest level that I can, but then during our conference time, I will talk to them and teach at their level. Also when they give me their writing, I don't expect fantastic 
A plus papers, I expect them to write where they are at and maybe push themselves a bit. So every time I talk, we push a little bit more and they learn a little bit more and we'll review or I'll push and just look at them and see what they need. But it's a completely good way to differentiate instruction because I'm, they get their one-on-one -on -one time with me and the practice. Then some people arrived and it was strange. Good. Now on the last one we talked about, you had we and you changed it to they. So we were working on our um, pronouns and you were looking, we're working on your point of view, you decided as a writer to talk in the third person. So you're talking about Kevin, you're talking about Brian, they're people out here, not you. So if they're not you, you can't put we. So you decide, okay, I'm going to make my story third person, let's talk about them, they. So you change that. So we want to make sure we continue to change it to third person. The whole story has to be third person. We can't switch over to I. So let's see if we did this. Go ahead and continue with your middle. It was the Alloids, Kevin shouted. They had came to kill all Otter. They had lied to us because they said they would share Otter with us. Men died and my dad because the Alloids had killed them. The Great Chumash Fight by Enoch. Long, long ago, there was a Chumash tribe that just finished having a powwow. When they were finished, the chief and the tribe all went to sleep. But out of the blue, the enemy Kuila, the Kuila Indians attacked out of nowhere. They were jealous of the Chumash people because they live right next to the sea and the sea gives So the last step of Writer's Workshop is to present and that definitely helps Common Core Standards because they, the students need to be able to speak orally, they need to be confident, they need to look at their audience and, and speak in a loud voice and when I start the presentations I'll start with a small group and as the year progresses we get larger and larger until it's whole class and at first the students are nervous but at the end they love it, they can't wait to present what they've written and show everybody and the students are also good listeners and they learn how to praise each other and um, appreciate what they have written and it just develops a community of learners. The chief learned a valuable lesson. Just with a lot of work, you get the best benefit out of it.